And we're leading the way with breaking news out of Adams County. 55 inmates have been evacuated and moved into temporary housing after a fentanyl exposure rushed four people to the hospital. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Chris Jacobs. Four people, including a first responder and a jailer, all receiving life-saving treatments. WLWT News 5's Jatera McGee joins us live from the Adams County Firehouse with those breaking details. Jatera. Yeah, Chris, quite the scene here in Adams County today. Behind me, there is a full firehouse. The trucks have been moved out of the main building, and there are 55 inmates sitting inside of the firehouse that had to be transported here while the, while the jail does a detox, essentially. This has never been done, the sheriff tells us, here in Adams County, but they are taking an abundance of caution. So here's how we got to this point. Yesterday afternoon, Thursday night, there was a woman brought into the jail who they suspect brought fentanyl or suspected fentanyl inside with her. This afternoon, two other inmates started acting funny, according to the sheriff, and when one of the jailers went to check on them, he and two, the two inmates and a medic who also responded all started getting weak and nauseous. They narcanned all four of them. All four were also taken to the hospital due to whatever kind of reaction they were having. Now, the jailer and the medic were still at the hospital as of about 830 when we last heard from the sheriff, but they are expected to be released tonight. The woman who allegedly brought the fentanyl in, the, the sheriff says they did a thorough search on her, but they believe that she had it hidden somewhere on her body. The sheriff says they are being overly cautious. All the inmates are sitting inside here. I could see them sitting in rows of chairs, um, but also, of course, when they bring them back into the jail, that's going to be a process because they need to make sure nothing that is leaving the firehouse with them enters the jail. So all of them are going to need to be searched all over again. Reporting live in Adams County, Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.